Welcome to Size World and Learn to Improvise. This is the first on the subject of sequences. We are using the G minor pentatonic scale. I have created five sequences today. A sequence is when a musical pattern is set and then repeated at various transpositions. In this case we play a short phrase and then repeat the rhythm while climbing or descending through the scale. You will find the detailed description at the back of the video in the last chapter. I will also write this out and put it in the video description so you can read it as you listen to it. Please enjoy. Here we go. Sequence number one. Sequence number two. Sequence number three. Sequence number four. Sequence number five. And now for playtime. Remember, the detailed description is at the back if you'd like more information. Now enjoy.
this is talking about how my brain thinks about this. So this isn't the key of B flat major in this exercise, but I am going to describe the G minor pentatonic scale by comparing it to the G major scale and noting the differences. I really try to describe scales by comparing them to the major scale of the note they start on. This means that when you're improvising and you see a minor chord and lay the scale shape on top of it, you know that the notes should work. It contains one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, and eight of G major. So you take the root note G, then add the flat three. That's the third note lowered by a semitone. Then add the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth note of G major, and finish with the flat seven. That's the seventh note lowered by a semitone. You can use this scale in any minor chord as it does not contain either the second or sixth note of the scale. This means it will fit over the chords based on the second mode, which is Dorian, the third mode, Phrygian, or the sixth mode, Aeolian, which is also the natural minor. Check out my videos called Modes of the Major Scale for more time on this idea. Thank you very much and have a nice day.